Okay guys, today we're checking out this bass amp room plugin from Softube. Uh, it's a fantastic little plugin, it really is. Okay, so um, at the top we've got the bass amp controls. Normal and master volume, high-low switch, bass, middle and treble controls. And by default the amp is connected to the cabinets in the middle. Okay, and if you grab with your mouse on the floor of the cabinet room and slide it, you can choose between the three different cabinets to go with the amp. There's an 8 bit 10, a 4 bit 12, and some little vintage unit with a single 10 inch or 12 inch or whatever. Now each of the cabinets has a mic, which you can slide in and out, and this really does affect the presence and tonal qualities of the cabinet and when you slide the mic in and keep sliding it, it then starts rotating to get off axis sounds as well. Okay. So you've got the amp and cab combinations, but there's also a DI section and you have a slider here to blend between the DI section or the amp cab section. Right. In the DI section we've got a low cut, a high cut, and a general tone control as well as a limiter which can be switched off completely if you want. So you blend between DI and amp cab balance. Um, there's a solo for the DI side, a solo for the amp cab side and a phase invert as well as a master volume. Okay. Now all the controls when you move them give fairly coarse movement but if you want fine movement uh, to dial in an exact hertz for the low cut here for example hold down command and then you're into a finer resolution when you move the control single hertz increments and that's the same for all the controls you get a finer movement uh, holding down command and the readout is here to to give you the setting you're setting for each control right now further to that uh, ability to blend between di and amp uh, cab combination you can bypass the amp or bypass the cab which gives even further tunnel varieties but of course this can offer you other things that you can do with this plugin besides just using it on basses. Um, like, for example, with Logic, the amp cab plugins that are included in Logic, I haven't found a way of bypassing the amp, being able to turn the amp off. Whereas with this, you can. You can turn the amp off and just use the cabinet. Then you could slide it all the way towards amp cab so you're only listening to cabinet. Right? And then you can use this plugin therefore to add cabinet sound only to things like synths, vocals, drum loops etc. You could for example set up a auxiliary send from your drum bus, send it off to an auxiliary return, put this plugin on it, switch it to uh, cab only and uh, switch it all the way across so we're only listening to the amp cab without the amp and then you could have parallel bass cabinet blended in with your um, with your drum mix, things like that. So there's a lot of creative things you can do with this besides just using it for bass. Okay. Now, um, I'm not going to go mad with the audio examples here. Um, there are lots of audio examples on Softube's website for you to listen to, but um, I'll just give you a couple of examples. I've got a little bass lick here that I set up, like a funk thing. Um, this is not like some mega expensive super setup bass. Um, my bass is just an old Aria Thor sound. Uh, from the 80s with humbuckers um, but I like the bass it's got a good weight to it and um, there's plenty of gap between the body and the strings for me to get my fingers underneath to do the hard pull-offs for funk and stuff so let's start with this little funk lick um, so I'm going to slide this all the way to DI let's check out the DI side first let's put the tone flat um, so we've got the high cut. We got the low cut. And now with the high and low cut both off, we've got the general tone control here. Yeah. And there's that limiter you can pull in and out as well if you want and use to whatever amount you want. Okay, and then we'll slide the slider across and now we'll just listen to the amp and cab combinations. Okay, we'll start with the 8 by 10. Okay, moved right in to the cabinet but no off axis. Okay, I'm 
going to start moving the mic on the 8x10 here. I'll put a little bit more mids on. Twelve and the little vintage cabinet. So big variety from those uh, amp cab combinations, and, and then we can blend between the DI and the um, the amp cab combi. So I'm going to put it like 60% towards the amp cab, and then on this I'm going to set up a a bit of a scoop like that. We've got a little bit of DI in there as well, and I'm just going to use the tone control on that to bring out a few extra mids a little bit. And there's, you know, obviously you can you can use different cabinets and things. You can detach the amp um, or the cab, which further increases the, the the different sounds you can get. I mean, it is incredibly versatile. It really is. And as I said, because you can bypass the amp or the cab, it allows you to use the cab on other things uh, for creative stuff, right? Um, and I've got this. Um, I'll just play one more thing. I've got this little slow jam thing I did. Uh, the bass, to be honest, the frets buzz a bit, but I've got this little slow jam thing here. lovely a lovely plugin and what I will say um, because Softube have given us all their plugins to review um, I'm starting with the guitar ones um, and what I've noticed with the guitar plugins um, the guitar amp um, plugins like this bass amp room and I'll be looking at the guitar uh, vintage guitar room next is that they just seem to have that little extra edge of presence and bite um, and definition um, which is sometimes lacking from amp modeling rigs um, and I suspect I don't know for I don't know this as a fact but I suspect that possibly although it's not visible as a control um, they might be using some of their transient shaper as part of the coding for the amp sims because they're Amp sims seem to have just this little extra bite, this uh, and that little extra presence, and that little extra edge that you get when you mic up a real amp and cabinet, which is often slightly lacking from bass amp and guitar amp sims. But th their their plugins seem to have that real edge, you know, that 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 makes them sound that fraction more real. 
And I, as I say, it could be because the transient shaper is at work in the background as part of the coding. Um, the transient shaper is, is a standalone plugin in its own right, part of the collection that we're going to be reviewing. But the transient shaper is also worked into some of their other plugins. Uh, for example, all of the channel strips for console one that we'll also be looking at. Um, they all feature the punch control, uh, which really does make a huge difference. Um, so perhaps they've used some of that to get that little extra edge, that little extra presence, that little extra bite um, that makes it sound just that smidge more realistic. But it's a fantastic um, plug in this. I really, really like it. So um, that's the base amp room. And you've got a decent um, selection of presets to get you going as well there. Um, if you need more audio examples, go and check out the Softube website where there are a lot more audio examples. That's the base amp room. I hope that's useful. Um, and I'll see you for the next one. I'm going to be looking at the vintage guitar, the vintage amp room. You know, it's got guitar amps. It's like this one, but with guitar amps. Yeah. So I'll see you for that one next.